Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. I've got £400, whoops, nearly. <laughs> I've got £400 worth of change that I'm going to go through. £100 worth of 50p's and £300 worth of £2 coins. And I'm on a quest to find every single 50p and £2 coin that you can possibly find in circulation. Because I want to add, add one of each to my book. My solo book, I want to make it nice and full. And also, this is episode four of what is a little five-part mini-series. If you haven't seen the first episode, f first three episodes, don't worry. You can go back and watch them. But if, if you haven't and you don't want to go back and watch them, that's fine as well. Because each episode is its own little standalone little uh, little do for dangler. So don't uh, so don't worry about uh, don't worry about that. Um, but yes. So the the story behind this is. It's two thousand pounds altogether over the uh, five episodes, and one thousand five hundred pound of that is two pound coins, and I got them from the post office, and they were all cashed in by one person uh, that was going on their holidays. So I'm hoping that we will um, find some really nice, rare, and valuable coins that the person didn't know they had. They just assumed it was worth a two pound face value that was printed on them. Oh, where's uh, where's the lucky leprechaun gone? Oh no! Oh no! What have I done with him? Hello? Oh, this is oh no, carnage! This is a disaster. I've had a I've had a lucky leprechaun with me for the first three episodes, and he has absolutely done the business. So say if you haven't got if you haven't seen them other episodes, don't worry, but it is worth going back because we did find some Ah there it is, we did there he is. He's back, he was just hidden. There he is, that lucky leprechaun there. Um I'll put him there, pride of place back in there. So yes, if you haven't seen them, it is worth watching because find some lovely coins that are worth more than the two pound that was uh, printed on them. So I recommend you go back and have a look. So there's a good example of a coin that we found. This is the Great Fire of London, came out in 2016, and probably worth four pounds, this one. Not in great condition, a little bit grubby, but it's worth more than the two pound that's printed on it, so it's a keeper. I don't need it for my album. I'll be keeping it anyway, because I say it's worth more than the two pound printed on it, and it's the plum find of the hunt so far. Will it get better? Do you notice how it how the how the look changed the minute that the leprechaun was back in play? That is Shakespeare histories, and there's Shakespeare comedies. So we've got two out of the three Shakespeare coins all in the same bag. There's an army centenary. Lots of them around. There is the Act of Union. Are you focusing? Do you want to focus? Is it, there we go. Act of Union. That is just a two pound coin, I'm afraid. But the look definitely turned the minute the leprechaun was back on the scene. So yes, three hundred pounds worth of two pound coins, and then a hundred pounds worth of fifty pences, just to add a a little bit of variety. That's oops, another Shakespeare, another history. Will we get the skulls to complete the hat trick? There's a good chance that we will. Let's see how we get on. I just need Commonwealth Games Wales. And I say just. It is a pretty rare coin. I've only ever found one. Or Lady M and I have only ever found, found one when we've been hunting together. I've never found one on my own. I just need that to complete the £2 set. Oh. Oh, right. Okay, so... One assumes I've been robbed here. This is not a two pound coin. Turkish something or other. Turk something. Anyway, it looks like it's from Turkey. And it's a, and it's worth one something or other from 2019. Did they, did they use? Don't know. Lira? Lyshki? Lyshki. Anyway, hopefully someone's going to tell me that the 2019 one Turkish something or other is super duper rare and worth more than the £2. Either that or I've been diddled. 
and I suspect that I've been uh, I suspect that I've been debunked. But never mind. These things uh, these things can happen. Maybe this 2013's rotated and it's not. Can't use in that bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, definitely, definitely diddle there. But anyway, interesting, interesting, nonetheless. But do tell me in the comments what that's worth. Let me know how you pronounce it as well, because I ain't got a clue. World coins are not my forte. There is Brunel. He's super common. Is it about eight million of them in circulation? Seven or eight million, anyway. Ah, Richard Trevithick. He's a little less common. A locomotive there. Trev is terrific. And a really shiny 2013. That doesn't look like it's been in circulation for, what, seven, eight, nine years? But it's not rare. It's just going back. It's going back in the pot to go back in the bag. So a person that cashed these in to buy her holiday money. I wonder if she's going to Turkey. <laughs> I'm guessing not. I'm guessing she's been to Turkey. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky. I suppose you can get away with putting the wrong coin in if you're back if you're doing a a lot of coins. So if you say you're cashing five hundred pounds in at a time, two pound coins. And if they weigh them all, like in a big lump, if it weighs a little bit more or a little bit less, they're not going to query it too much. I think if you just obviously went in with one bag and it was the weight was, was out, then they would definitely clock on. So it's either, oh, actually, I've got, I've got some scales. It'll be interesting to see how much that Turkish coin does weigh. Because a two pound coin weighs 12 grams. In fact, I'm going to do it now, what? So don't forget. You won't be able to see it. Hang on. I'll zoom out a bit. Come on then, reset. Come on. How many grams? Eight grams. So it's nowhere near the 12 grams of a two pound coin. Mm. The post office have not been as diligent as you would hope them to be. But never mind. Hey, maybe it's worth more than two three. I doubt it though. There we go. Let's see if we can find that Commonwealth Games Wales. If, I could, if it uh, completes my two pound collection then I will not complain one jot. There's another army centenary. Lots of them in these them parts. Them their parts in the northeast. I made nine and a half million. And sometimes I feel like all nine and a half million found their way up to the Middlesbrough area. There's another one. And another one. I really should check all the coins for rotations because they are out there and they are worth maybe it's up to a tenner if you've got if you spin a two pound coin round and the queen's facing the other way providing it's not a fake you've almost certainly got a coin that's worth more than two quid but i don't always check i must admit especially if i'm doing a lot of two pounds back here i am now Right, that's the end of the two pounds. We we're going to move swiftly on. Why is that one there? We're going to move swiftly on to the 50p's to see whether we can improve things a little bit. Ten bags, here we go. We're looking for that Kew Gardens, we're looking for Olympics. Although first and foremost, with just ten bags to look through, we're just looking for any kind of commemorative and not... 2019 shields like pretty much all of them were that first lot so many 
and then circulate. Here's a few more by the looks of it here. Yeah. One. That was a 15. I think the light's failing me a little bit, you know. Ah, that I'm getting old. And I can't see the coins as easy. And there's public libraries, that's super common. That's only ever going to be worth 50p. I did actually start out to film these coin hunts as early as 6.30 this morning. I've been off work today. Lady um, had me doing, had a list of chores for me to do and various bits and pieces. Ellie needed to go to the opticians and had to wait in for a delivery and tidy it up, etc. etc. I didn't actually get round to filming these coin hunts till gone at six o'clock. So, of course, well, I tell a lie, actually, I did one, I did one during the afternoon and then all the others I've been doing back to back. I didn't start till six, so I think half six in fact. So the light is failing me in the studio. And I haven't, I've got my lights on, my, my thingy lights. My coin hunt lights. But I haven't put the big light, the big light's not on. And I think that can make a difference from time to time. So I might put that in for a fifth and final episode of this £2,000 little mini-series. Hopefully you can still see them okay. Does look a little, does little, look a little dark on screen. Oh, I've definitely filmed darker. Ooh, it's a 2017 coming up. There is a Benji Bunny. I'm going to look to see if there's a rotation on, see whether it's been signed, if there's an engine description there isn't, and that's going to be the only Benjamin Bunny I'm going to find in this little episode. Come on. Come on, Olympics, where are you? Is the leprechaun's look wearing off? I think it probably is. Will it come back in episode five? final who are or did we peak too early tune in tomorrow if you're watching them as they upload or if you're watching this in the future the end screen will have a next episode on it for you to click and if you're new do subscribe please put a like on the video etc turn on your notifications diddly 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 it's worth hanging around especially when lady m's on we, we hunt coins together. We like to have a little bit of a giraffe. Oh no, I've got the Benjamin. I've, I've bust on the Benjamin Bunny challenge. I said we'd only find one and we've got two. Let's check if it's got a rotation as well. We have found one. We did find one where we spun Benji around like that and the queen was like this. That was quite interesting. Right, two bags left as well. Dirty bear here. The dirty pines in the cathedral. He hasn't been in circulation that long, maybe three years. And he's super grubby. Super grubby. There's a 2008 Britannia, the lowest minted of the Britannias. Three and a half million. I've got a few. I won't be keeping them anymore. And one bag left. Come on, lucky leprechaun. Let's do the biz in the last bag. Dictionary is not what we want to see. Is it upside down? It's not what we want to see. Boring, boring dictionaries. Although it becomes a little mini set with the libraries there. Flipping heck, we've only got four. Come out the coins. Five. Come out the coins. 
Let's see, we were looking for five, at least five. I think I did. Is that it? Are we there? Are we done? Are we spent? Yes, we are. Interesting. Right, we'll definitely go back and watch some of the other episodes because was the fruits were it was more fruitful fruitful on other coin hunts right two bunnies um two pounds nothing to write home about with the exception of this the great fire london so hopefully what i've lost in the in me turkish lira or however you pronounce it wherever i've lost in that i've made up for in the great fire london do let me know in the comments what it's worth. Right. I am all done. Nothing for the book. Tune in for the last episode of the £2,000 mega hunt. The trading of someone's holiday currency, holiday money. And uh, anyway, I'm done. Right. I'm Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.